Good morning, Americans. Good morning, friends. Welcome to Pray for America. A few minutes of prayer to our everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, His Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, the agency through which, and it's not an agency like a detective agency or a, it's not, it's, a, it's the power of the Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. It's an intense, immense, unlimited, absolutely, unfathomably unlimited power. The power that raised Jesus from the dead, that dwells in you. And it dwells in me if we belong to him. And I know you do, because I know you. Well, I don't know all of you because there could be someone watching Pray for America for the first time that doesn't know the Lord. And I just want to encourage you that the very foundation of our life is to have a relationship with this amazing creator, our loving God. Hi, Alyssa. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You are a treasure to God and precious in the eyes of the Lord. Beth, all of you, Jim, everybody that is listening to this right now, you, you are so treasured by God. And may we take the time to enjoy and bask in that intimate relationship we have with sovereign God, with our, our Lord, our Creator, the one who loves us with also unlimited love. He gave everything for us. He gave his very life. He gave his back to the torturers on our behalf. And he bore our sicknesses, our diseases, and our sins on himself. And then because of that great sacrifice, the shedding of his perfect blood, he now can live in us, empower us, and enable us to live biblically accurate lives and make a huge difference in the world. Hey, Mame, good to see you. Beth, appreciate you so much. He is our everything. He, he, he causes us to be our best selves because it is he himself who changes our inclinations. He changes our motivations. He changes the things that matter most to us and transforms us into the image of God. When we find arrogant pride in ourselves, instead of just saying, oh, okay, arrogant pride. Well, I guess that's me. No. We say, God, help me. God, change me. God, teach me. God, deliver me. And he does. He's so faithful. He's perfectly faithful to sanctify us. He, he made us perfectly holy by his sacrifice on the cross. And now he's changing our lives to reflect the perfect holiness that he gave us as a gift. Does that make sense? He who made us holy is making us holy. Hallelujah. I love it. And that is the God we serve, one who is completely committed to our good, to our transformation, and that transformation for the good of others. He calls us to love others unselfishly with a pure motive. Mm. Well, Heavenly Father, you're so good. <laughs> We love you. We worship you. Let's just praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's just lift our hearts toward heaven and praise the Lord. Let's just praise the Lord. We praise you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, yes, God. We lift our lives 
our hands, our hearts toward heaven and praise you. We enter your gates with thanksgiving in our hearts. So grateful for the transformation that you alone have brought into our lives. A beautiful partnership. Us submitting to you. Committing our lives to you. And you, day by day, decision by decision, incident by incident, transforming us into your image. What a joy. Lord, we, your beloved servants, willing servants, we petition you on behalf of our great country, America, who you chose for yourself. Lord, you set this country aside at the inception of our government. <clears throat> our leaders who landed here, dedicated this land to the furtherance of the gospel. Lord God, sinful people have committed and still commit many crimes in, a, in this imperfect country. <coughs> and that's why we are becoming a more perfect union. We're not claiming to be, but we ask God that you would stir men's hearts to submit their lives to you. And through daily obedience to you, Lord, we can grow to be a more perfect union as a country. Thank you, dear God, for all of our leaders, evil, corrupt, and righteous and holy. We give you thanks. We ask, dear God, that you would grant us godly leaders. And we thank you, Father, for both. Because you use everything in our lives for your glory and for our good. Dear God, we thank you for the trials that beset us, knowing that the testing of our faith produces endurance. And these things, Lord God, cause us to grow. They cause us to be transformed into your image. And so we ask God that you would help us to serve those around us, serve the homeless, serve the hungry, serve the poor and the naked, and to serve the sick. Grant us the humility, Lord God, to care more for the needs of others than we do for our own. Husbands, God, help us to serve and lead our wives in a compassionate and understanding way giving ourselves and doing our best to meet their needs. Lord, help us, God, as a nation to become more and more that city set upon a hill. Valiant men doing faith-filled things to free victims of of crime and captives of habitual sin. And then, Lord, a restored, revived America can be a beacon to the world. Lord, we want to feed, we want to end hunger, we want to end poverty. Dear God, help us to transform this world, to take back what the enemy has stolen. Thank you, Lord, that our exploits are doing damage to the devil's kingdom and setting captives free. Those bound in a prison of fear that keep them from reflecting your image through their lives and their, through their choices. Help us, Jesus. Help us pour out your spirit upon us. Revive us. Restore us. Renew us. Help us to mature and grow godly character. 
Lord, we love you. We love everyone who who struggles to know who they are. Help people find their, their image in their sonship or daughtership with you. There is no greater love than the love you have for them. The devil's big goal is to provide distractions so that they never learn that fact. Well, help us, Father, to redirect the focus of people everywhere back onto your love that they might receive it and therefore be transformed. Thank you, God. Lord, we pray that truth would win over lies. We pray that law enforcement would be empowered and would be good. Pray that men and women would be encouraged and have courage, true biblical courage, gentle, humble courage. Thank you for the transformation that you are bringing to our lives, God. And Father, we pray for our loved ones, lost, strung out on drugs, homeless, hopeless. Lord, children and grandchildren, wayward, needing you. We cry out for them, Father. Bring them home to you and to mom and dad. Lord, we cry out for godly marriages. Help husbands, wives to submit themselves to one another. Men, benevolently, humbly leading their wives and helping them become more Christ-like. Wives, willingly submitting to their husband's leadership, not like a slave, but like a partner. Thank you, God. You're so good. You lay down your life for the church. May we as husbands lay down our lives for our wives. And may the church reflect who you are as we influence others by loving them, feeding them, caring for them, meeting their needs, and sharing with them the good news of the gospel, introducing them to Christ. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I pray that you would encourage us. You're on the move. You're doing great things. We want to be a part of it. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we, we pray specifically for mothers right now in the condition of having an unwanted pregnancy and considering terminating their own child's life. Help them to see how wrong that is. And may they turn to many of the, to the many crisis pregnancy centers. Thank God for people who run crisis pregnancy centers who've laid down their own lives in order to serve these women and men who are in trouble. But they are carrying a life that you cherish and that you love. Help them to see the truth and know the truth. Thank you, God. And now, Lord, we pray for the sick among us. Thank you for your power in our lives. Let your healing power flow forth on behalf of Karen, on behalf of Diane, on behalf of my classmate from Bishop Moore, 
suffering from ALS. Dear God, give them your power. Heal them. On behalf of Janice, thank you, God. Thank you for the praise report for Joel having no normal numbers, cancer in remission, probably healed. Hallelujah. Go forth, Lord, to heal. Heal cancer. Heal diabetes. I lift up my friend Tony. Lord, thank you for the radical change you make in our lives. You're good. You're kind. You're loving. You're gentle. You're generous. You're patient. Oh, so patient. Lord, we want to see you everywhere in America. Help us to commit our lives to seeing Christ reflected in our land, through our lives. And help us to encourage others to do the same. The more of us that look like you, Jesus, the more America looks like Jesus. Hallelujah. In your awesome name, Lord, we pray. And if there's any if there's anything I forgot to pray for, please put it in the comments. I'll, I'll take a, a couple of minutes here because I want to be faithful to you. You are faithful to the Lord. You're good, kind, wonderful, loving, generous people. That coffee was hot. I hope I don't have a burn in my neck now. <laughs> Oh, my friends, thank you for being here. Alyssa, how are you doing? We need to catch up. Give me a call or whatever, a uh, text. I'd just like to know how you're physically doing. Uh, and I just thank you all for being here. I encourage you, to, if you want to, hit the like button, hit the love button. Hit the, hit the button, whatever. And let's, uh, let's grow this, this program to include more people. If it, uh, if, if it seems something like something valuable to you, it may be valuable to some friends of yours. And so I encourage you to share it out with your buddies. And let's do the hard work of, of growing the show. And I, I, there are things that I can do that I need to do that I have not prioritize the time to do and I need to to help the show grow God bless you all it is a, it is a privilege to call you friend I hope that your day is blessed and that you find joy in loving and giving and serving other people everywhere you go what a blast <laughs> Have an excellent day, and I'll see you this afternoon on the John Morgan Show. Humor, passion, and perspective for a lost and dying world. Taking back the kingdom of this world for the kingdom of our God. Laughing all the way. Hallelujah. Take care, folks, and, and it's not too late. If you want to get your dad a Bushgram. Just go to bushgrams.com. Send your dad a, a, a message from W. You can send him a, 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 a Bushgram. Why send flowers <laughs> when you can send a bush? <laughs> It'd be my privilege to serve you. Go to bushgrams.com. God bless, friends. Have an excellent day. I'll see you somewhere down the road.